Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Mirage where I went off, read a book I just bought for myself earlier today as a birthday gift for myself. It's one Ooh. I've read before, it's a Becky Chambers book, the, Gal no, the Galaxy in the Ground Within, that's my favorite, favorite one. But anyway, uh, this is a different one that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but I was thinking also about Bayek, the Origins protagonist, and why I liked him so much. And I saw something, too, bring this up early, like when I was looking up his name. It brought up that he's one of the older protagonists, besides Ezio and Revelations, right? Um, but he starts out as an older uh, protagonist. And, like, I don't know, I felt like he was able to, like, be a more believable character. For one thing, it's my birthday. I'm aging. I enjoy seeing characters that are older characters in games. Or, like, you know, characters my age or older, like... Kicking butt, doing cool things, you know? I like to read it in fantasy, I like to... Whatever, you know? Like, I don't want to be aged out of the media. And sometimes the older I get, the more I'm like... And I'm, you know, I'm ancient, but I'm in my early 30s. Um, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, these kids these days, or <laughs> kids in these games and books and stuff, oh, they're so reckless. I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I get like that, where I'm just like, That's so dumb, you're so dumb. But it's like... It's just how it is, you know? Um, but yeah, I really liked Bayek um, for being, like... I just felt like he was also, like, he was humorous, but also, like, knew, well, like, when things were serious, things were serious, but he could also be humorous. Like, he wasn't... He was confident, but he wasn't, like, a cocksure, like, hot-headed young guy, you know? Like, he had weight to him, and I really enjoyed that a lot. Uh, this guy, this guy... This guy's your stereotypical Assassin's Creed protagonist. Where he just be... <laughs> He's just an idiot. <laughs> Edward Kenway, same thing. Altair, big jerk. Big jerk, honestly. Um, also, it's fall in the game. It's fall in real life. Eating plants will reach it. Why is my health down? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna eat... I'm just gonna eat random plants. They're not random, I know, but... <laughs> Alamut Fortress takes my Alamut! As if it leaped out of the Hikayat I heard when I was a child. That's the secret library. And as far as I know, I don't know, I don't know nothing. I know very little about anything in the world. Uh, it's it's fake. It's fictional. <laughs> it is the fictional assassin library. There you are. Are you ready? I... Uh, uh, I think so. Uh, by the way... Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed and we can begin. Uh, I had somebody commented on... I just uploaded the first video for this to today at time of recording. And I was like, whose voice is Rashan? She was an, a, a Quarian Admiral in Mass Effect 2 and in 3, technically. Um, Go on, Basim. Like we off the top of my head, yes, master. I cannot remember it, of course, uh, her name. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, I knew I recognized her voice. <laughs> I like it. I know it sounds very... I, I think this must be her natural voice, because otherwise it would be incredibly painful to speak like this, but she has such a unique voice. I really you like it. strong today, Basim. <laughs> Keep training. Oh, thank you. Is this is this the jumpy offy spot? Steady, Basim. Steady. Listen, buddy, I got this. No. I've been doing this for I've years. Enough. We will try again tomorrow. What? I did... I felt fine. I did great! I can see it in your body. You lose focus too much. I did great! The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's oh. first and most sacred yeah, rites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To perform it successfully, you must first center did your Did I not survive? Body and Did spirit. I not survive the jump? Embrace the fear. Quiet it. Find a stillness. And let go. Yes, master. Did I? Did I not <laughs> survive? <laughs> but I didn't do it in the right spirit. I understand. Anyway, I've also been really wanting to play something? a game. You may. Oh my goodness! Back in Anbar at the palace, I witnessed a meeting you, between the Khalifa you, and five masked you're men, only... order members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. 
He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The Order has held dominion the over order. such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet, and the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. He's only asking this question now. Let me just interrupt to say, he's only asking this now. It's been two months. And he's like, yeah, by the way, that whole, and to be fair, maybe he was traumatized, blah, blah, blah. But like, I'd be like, who are those people? And what was going on? Uh, also, I just want to say, so, I know I keep interrupting, but super fast. I just want to say, I have been really wanting to play an Assassin's Creed game for the last several years where we kind of go back to the assassins um, being proliferate, right? Or, or that there are many of them, right? Sort of, the first game is kind of the golden age of Assassin's Creed lore, right? Of, 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 of the assassins being at the height of their power. And I believe during the French Revolution one, the assassins were at a pretty good power spot. Um, but in most other times, the in most of the other games that I'm aware of, and Origins and Odyssey are like kind of pre, like early assassin stuff, not pre assassins, but like kind of pre assassins, but like early assassin stuff, right? So you're not, you're not as like, you know, powerful. But they, this is the time where they're building the library, right? Like this is pre Altair. Altair's game takes place during the Second Crusade, I believe, um, and. This game takes place in the Golden Age of Islam in like the 8th, 9th century, you know? Um, I believe it's the 8th century in this game. Um, the, yeah, and the, sorry, the Crusade is mm, in the 1000s? Yeah, early 1000s? Was it like 1096? Something like that, don't quote me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, history of Baghdad, whoa! At some point I'll have to read that stuff. But look, now we get to see like assassins like looks like the first game where they're all Nothing. around. Speak with doing stuff. See if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, master. She's also she's very beautiful. I really love her design. If I ever have to do short hair, I'll do it like that. Who is preparing to receive the Tahari emissary, master? Thank you. Look at this! This is so cool! They've got like the flag, and they've got like, just people out and about, and it's the classic assassin's uniform. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! And like just like a training facility, and a, do you see these buildings built right into the rock walls? Oh yeah, and this is the time too, and it's not just the assassins themselves. Like it's like a whole city of people and like families built up around them. Like not every single one of these people are assassins, right? Some of them are like um, just like family members or people who want to help the cause or maybe have nowhere else to go, but like they want to help contribute, right? So they contribute by doing things like I don't know, taking care of the home, you know, like giving these people places to come back to, you know, like like running small trade businesses businesses or something you know like keep like this is this is what's traditionally called and I'm 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 going down into like a like obviously all of it's important not just this kind of a thing but oftentimes what has been deemed women's work is what keeps societies running and is very under underappreciated right like men couldn't go off and do all sorts of blah, 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 like historic things that they did if the economy and like the home was collapsing behind them right but it's like to always been underappreciated just like the day-to-day -day maintenance of a household you know but i'm not just talking about that kind of stuff like i'm talking like trade you know like just like in general like this whole place has been built up to facilitate the assassins doing their stuff and also giving good lives as good as possible to the people who are there and i just find that just wonderful i find it just so great and I am just a huge fan of buildings built into cliff faces and like alcoves and stuff like this. I've spent a large chunk of my summer running around with like ancestral Pueblo structures in the Four Corners region in the American like kind of Southwest area. Oh my gosh, like you're talking like Mesa Verde type stuff, you know, but all, there's all kinds, there's more than just Mesa Verde out there. There's so, there's thousands and thousands of them. It's so wonderful, it's so cool. Oh, and what was that? Oh, what's the other place that I want to go to so bad that I will maybe never go to? Okay, I was right. I was like, is it Petra? It is Petra. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Petra. I want to go to Petra. So bad, you guys. I'd love to go to Petra. 
Uh, anyway, anyway, who is the guy? I'm supposed to talk to this mysterious person. Good day, Tepid. Hello, Bussin. What troubles you? Truthfully, I am frustrated. The Order has only grown stronger in Baghdad since the death of the Khalifa, and we are stuck on this mountain. Mentor Raihan surely knows what he is doing. Maybe I should trust more. You should question more what you should do. Have you seen Fulav? Probably at his office, as usual. Anyways, I must get back to work. Araka lahika. Araka I will learn new words. Araka Hello, are you? No, nope, you're just a talkable person. How is Noor the brave eagle? Will he fall or will he soar? You will soar, ya sadiqi. Inshallah. Thank you. We have a similar spirit, you know. What gave you that idea? One of the Banu Musa was angry at you and you were unfazed. Remember? I did not touch his hammer. You refused to apologize for something you did not do. I respect that. Stubborn, like me. I have been called worse. Have you seen Fulad in camp? I have seen him speaking to Ahmed near his office. Araka lahika. Araka lahika. Arak. Nope. I'm trying to do like German stuff to it. I'm like, ah, Arak. Ooh, I hear. I hear. I hear the speaking. Look at this city built into the walls. It's so cool. And the water. Of course, he's set up right near a fresh water source, huh? Beautiful! I want to build a house that has a bunch of assassins symbols hanging off of it. <laughs> bird! Ah, what is this in the corner? Bird! Here. My bird. Small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this. And not Al Hassan. Or worse, Abu Jaffa. I just you understand, Wada. Ah, Those were Bosom. probably historic names. Yes, Enkidu. Food Enkidu, is coming. good name. Intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. I don't think that ever happens, honestly. Reminds me of look someone. at look at mad scientists. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you. Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I think Rebecca I shall, Fula. is a Hebrew name. I'm pretty sure Rebecca is originally a Hebrew name. Um, and Kidu, though, is the, like, uh, I think the head god of the Mesopotamian uh, pantheon. I believe that's Enkidu. Enkidu, I could be wrong. I'm reading your stuff. He is arrogant, of course. Uh, there is something extraordinary within him, of Rebecca course. Rebecca needs leather strips from the camp. Yet he guards it as closely as he guards his heart. A hidden one must flee to the shadows, but Basim dreads what the darkness may yield. Okay, he is afraid of the dark because of the little demon monster. He fears the plan. He does not trust that you'll catch him. I would tell him that our arms are open, but I cannot find the words. Is that Roshan? Just, 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 just say that. Right up, straight up. I'm reading all your notes. Tidings from the west. The siege of Constantinople is lifted. Woo! The attack of the Rus came as like a thunderbolt from heaven, as the patriarch put it. The northerners raided the villages just beyond the city and left great damage in their wake. Our Erie will soon need to send more eagles to the city of Byzus. New peril uh, dawn, and I doubt that the Norsemen are done with us yet. Your brother in shadow. Whoa! The siege of Constantinople. Which time? Which time Constantinople was was uh, was sieged? What year? We are in 800. I don't know exactly what year we are. Oh, when did Constantinople become... Constantinople becomes Istanbul much later because I believe that's when Revelations takes place with Ezio. He goes to the city when it's Constantinople and then he's there when it's like taken over and becomes Istanbul. Right? Oh my gosh, did I just totally do that wrong? I may have just done that wrong. I don't know. I'm not here to do a fact checker. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll see when I'm editing. <laughs> if I'm like, let me interject and get things right. <laughs> wow! Is there a photo mode in this game? There's gotta be. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. Some people get nice pictures and they get uh, they get shown off for their pictures. I don't know. Yeah! 
Okay, I just took a picture. I want the way I wanted it, the way it's kind of framing it was like as if somebody was, like I kind of how we are, right? Just stumbling upon. Well, at least I am stumbling upon this view for the first time. So I was trying to get it to like the angle you would be at when you'd look up and like just around the corner and you'd see like a tantalizing glimpse of this mysterious structure. Blah blah blah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, supposed to help a Rebecca? Well, leather strips. That is not it. No? I don't know. It is hard to find anything that, that in here. Like, like leather strips to me. Falad, be sure to remind the Bureau is in Baghdad to return every bloodied feather and mission report to Alama. Each feather is a victory. They must be collected and chronicled, not consigned to the heap of history. This is not mere ceremony. Future generations of hidden ones will look at our records for guidance. Our past must instruct the future. It cannot be erased. Oh, of course, of course. And that will... No, that is not a strip Well, okay, well, why? Why? Don't you just tell me what it is then, you jerk? Well, oh, did I get him? Beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the order, Arban? I can only speak of what I know, your Sardevi. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. You guys just... just... Okay, you're not talking about this in an office, you're talking about it... in the middle of everything. I am a sneaky spy. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and a full-scale attack. A fragile peace. How long will Don't it last? Don't you dare get involved without somebody asking you to get involved. Remember what happened last time? Really bad things happened. And I know this fortress stays intact for like another like couple hundred years at least, but... How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, Yasaidi. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentor Ryan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Medina as Salam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. Oh my gosh, just chilling and reading in the sunshine. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. Where is Rebecca? Boy? Oh, um. Back. Do I, can I, can I get there? This, oh, books. Oh, books, books, books. Things to read. Dear Roshan, I have been close with my... Ooh, from Greece! With my letter, a rare find, an ancient sketch of a hidden blade. The very first. You see its title, Xerxes Bane. Oh, yes! This was the weapon of Darius. I know not if our famed ancestor ever returned to his beloved Persia after his betrayal, but I thought I would return this etching of his blade to his na native shores and to you. <gasps> that is so cool. I don't... This is lore that's potentially already in the game, but, like, I don't freaking know anything about this. I keep hoping that they will stop being cowards and let us play, I think it's in China, where Altair's son, at least in the Assassin's Creed 2 or uh, one of the Ezio games, which I, I don't think it was Revelations, it might have been 2, uh, but, uh, or the middle one whose name escapes me, uh, like middle children do. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, his son, in that game, you find out there's like a underground s temple or something, shrine, to various assassins. And one of them is Altair's son, who I believe died while killing Genghis Khan, or who killed Genghis Khan. 
And I don't, I don't, but I don't think his son ever made it back to Altair. Um, but I was like, can we do that? That would be super cool. Like, I would love to. Be. And I know they're doing like what Assassin's Creed Red or something. I don't know. I think at this point, Ghost of Tsushima takes the cake on like, well, and it's a completely different area and completely different period. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna make a more Asian like styled Assassin's Creed game that's any better than some of the ones like Sekiro? How are you gonna make one? I mean, which is very fantastical. Um, Ghost of Tsushima, right, is like, has a lot of historical accuracy, but like, they've sort of mixed things up, like, you know, and which is fine. It's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's one of my favorite games. I love it very much. Played it on my own. Um, but yeah, at this point, it's like, can Assassin's Creed do any better than anybody else has with, with any cool things? Although, to, it is China, not Japan. Oh, sorry. I was reading a text message, and I totally forgot everything I was saying. Um, anyway, it would be super cool. Xerxes being into assassinate Xerxes. The guy tried to invade Greece. Uh, freaking... Oh, my gosh. When was it? When Persia freaking... Uh, it's cool stuff, but like I said, I have a tiny brain, <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, it's cool, <laughs> but I can't. I'm a thief. Azada, they tell me you are still searching, still chasing, and calling, rumor and calling my name. That woman you pursue is dead, and that name is buried with her. I am Roshan, daughter of Nun, sister of many. I drown my pain in brotherhood. You can have no part in this fellowship. Brother cause is cruel to our kin, and I will not see you hurt. Turn back, old friend. Seek me no more. Yep, you don't want to be the friend of an assassin. You'll probably die a horrible death. I was trying. Wait for the love. <sighs> so jump. I like seeing the assassins just chill, just vibing, just vibing. Look at all these people. I like seeing them happy. I like your outfit. I want one. Rebecca. Ah, same. Ah, same. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No. I have this leather for you. Will it do? Yeah. Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. <gasps> Ooh, is that... Here is your... Is that Damascus steel? Uh, that's cool. I don't know if it is. <laughs> Don't and your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. That blade looks like it would get stuck on a body trying to pull it out. <laughs> you don't be waving that around, you maniac. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons. He's too today. young. Repay me by using it on the order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. He's too. Also, there's no scabbard there. It's just it hanging. You had further training today. Ooh. I, I just tried to I jump. Forward I just to tried it. to jump. Speak with the hidden one to learn how to use. Yeah, I, let me speak to you. I don't know how to throw anything. These are pretty already. How does training go, Yasodiki? Nor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so. It sails through the air, swift and true. A cheerful man. Shall I remind you how to use it? Yes, please do. Um. I have to. Oh, like this. Ah, right, wow! I suck. Yeah, Elahi. Well done. Give me more. What? That's it? I only get three chances? Oh, here we go. Oh, only one throwing knife. I guess I'll save it. Now I'm worried. I can have a torch. I remember using the torches in, um... Oh, have I? This is the way, Yasodik. Look at that. Oh, that's, that would freaking suck to have to do your laundry that way, I think. I think everything every day that I don't have to wash laundry like that. 
cool stuff. You may not enter. It is forbidden. I'm still an initiate, huh? Not allowed. Not allowed under the cool caves. I don't. I only have. Am I, am I going back in? I cannot. I cannot. I'm lost. Are you? You. He's just reiterating. He's like cold in my bones. Listen, you want me to throw a torch at you? I will. Could you imagine living in an assassin's compound and just having people running around on your roof all the time? They're like, it's training. They're like, please stop. Also, I am curious now if the blade is gonna. It hasn't been in. It's not like a common thing yet, maybe? Cassandra had one and she was before this time, but she wasn't really part of the assassin order. There we go. Golly. Assassin jump! Woo! -hoo. Assalamu alaikum, ya sadiqi. Walaikum assalam. Did Fulab send you? No, he did not. You're not here to help move these rocks? Nope. I am quite sure that was not me. I do not mean to be rude, but I have no time to talk. I must figure this out. I will leave you to it then. <laughs> I have to move rocks, I don't know. Assalamu alaikum, ya sayyidi. Wa alaikum assalam. I was out in the mountains earlier. And the sight of Fortress Alamut filled me with awe. Mentor Rehan told us to take inspiration from nests mm. the eagles construct in the Alamut Peaks. Eagle I nest. can see the influence. Wada. That makes sense. Well, fuck mm -hmm. That makes sense for the assassins. Treasure? No? Okay. Flame. Give yourself. Seven out of ten. You can do it. I believe in you. Why you did that is beyond me. They're like, no, really. You can't get to these places unless you, like, already have, like, a basic grasp of our mechanics as an assassin. I, oh, I was like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I just thought I was throwing myself into the void. Oh, no. I am throwing myself into the void. I was getting ready to jump on that sidewall. Whoa! That's cool, that's cool. Oh, very beautiful. It's all... No, don't do that, please. It's very reminiscent of, um, Origins and, uh, Assassin's Creed 1. It's a desert, I know. <laughs> but you're like, it's, just, it's reminiscent of other deserts you played. Listen, yes, but I really enjoyed both those games, so... And honestly, you don't see much of the desert in Assassin's Creed 1. You're mostly in the cities. So. In Origins, you Good get to see a lot. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for a comeback. Why are you so mean to me? I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that master. I am Are you truly at here? least glad he seems to be Well <laughs> yes. He touched his I head so. <laughs> you are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. I like that he seems willing to listen. I think he's having some, like, trauma, right? Like, he's having some psychological stuff that he's having Make to deal sure with. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Let me target. What are you there doing? Are you trying to get a stab? I was trying. I was pressing the wrong stick. Your quick stab first. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'm waiting for I you. do like that he seems to be willing to yeah. listen to her, you know? Where, like, Excellent. he's not just being yeah, a snarky a hole the whole time. You can parry the attacks of your Never been good at this. That's good. I just, like, hold my arm up? Okay, it's only for a brief second. Yeah, 
like, like, and they give you a bit of a window. Good work. So they light up when I definitely need to press the button. <laughs> That's the way. Good advice. <laughs> ah, I keep pressing it too early. I, this is actually a little weird, honestly. Like I see her come in and I want to dodge. <laughs> but it's like a delayed thing. Oh, okay. Uh, ow. That's good. I'm glad to learn that now. Ah! Is she not gonna do any parryable? Oh, there- Hey! Wake up! You change colors so late! This is why it's delayed from the dot- or from the incoming attack. So you can decide. I'm- for- I'm like stuck on, um... Uh, Tsushima combat. Where did that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now, seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. You can't burn yourself out, buddy. You gotta, you gotta take it easy. You need some sleep. You need some time. <laughs> to yourself. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. House of Wisdom! Oh. I fear he may end in the middle of a snakeless. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Oh, are they twins? Oh. Our brother Ahmed is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the house of wisdom. The house of wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Ulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. Oh, origins! They represent the feathers of Mars. Yep, 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 yep. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. These would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. This is not assigned? And she just randomly- Are you coming, Basim? Leave the stories for later. She's just like randomly, hey, tell him a story about the feather. It's like, okay. <laughs> tell him the story. <laughs> Like, oh, very, um, like, omniscient of you. I did read an interesting interview from the uh, guy who voice acts Basim, and he talked about, because we're starting to see it a little bit here, but he talks about how Basim is like a young man trying to find his place in the world, but also is dealing with certain, like, trying to figure out how to deal with, like, traumatic instances, you know? And so it's sort of like a psychological... <sighs> Like introspection, I think in some ways, or an examination of like how a person can deal with trauma. You know, um, I don't think it's gonna be like super like, I don't know, maybe not super nuanced or anything. But um, I think that is something to keep in mind is how Basim deals with the loss, uh, which is how a lot, we have to watch on a lot of the assassins, honestly. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and 
call this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm enjoying playing it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's nice to play with the controller because it doesn't hurt my arm because my current setup is very bad for mouse and keyboard and it hurts, gives me incredible pain, honestly. So the controller is quite nice for that. So thank you all again for watching. Sorry <laughs> for the tangent. Uh, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Adam and Fame, so much for your support. I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, who has been a long time supporter and who I am very grateful to. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier pa- no, forest, forest tier patron. <laughs> Multiple tree. <laughs> and <laughs> so you've gone above and beyond in your support of me and the channel, and I cannot thank you enough. So thank you again, and I hope you all enjoy the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.